Vienna, the capital of Austria, is one of the most popular tourist destinations of Europe. It is a city that carefully balances over 2,000 years of history with a modern European lifestyle. When I went to Vienna for a few days, I wanted to see what else the city had to offer beyond the typical tourist hotspots. If you're going to be staying for more than a few days, then it's a good idea to rent an apartment instead of staying at a hotel, because you can cut down on costs by cooking at home. We stayed at the Vienna Feeling Apartments, where we had all the comforts of home. Starting off our tour of Vienna, we went to the museum's quarter. Okay, I know what you're saying, museums. That sounds pretty typical. But hear me out, the museum's quarter is actually a popular hangout nestled between some of the hippest art museums in Vienna. Vienna is home to many companies that create the highest quality handmade porcelain, crystal, chandeliers, and silver. Visitors can take a tour of these companies to see how their delicate creations are crafted. Our first stop was Augarten Wien, where some of the world's finest porcelain comes from. So this is the Augarten Wien, where porcelain has been handmade since 1718. So let's go take a tour. Next up, we went to the famous manufacturer of crystal and chandeliers, Lobmeyer. What makes companies like this stand out is the tradition of craftsmanship that is passed down from one generation to the next. This company even made the chandeliers for the Met Opera House in New York City. We also visited the store of Wiener Werkstatter, a company that works with Austrian artists to create incredibly original and creative silverware and products. We finished off our trip to Vienna at Weingut Christ. Christ is a unique spot in Vienna because it combines a traditional Heurige and a modern winery. A Heurige is an interesting tradition that is quite unique to Austria. Local wineries that are interested in serving the wine they produce open a sort of mini restaurant and offer a small selection of food along with their own wine. It's a great place to sample local wine and cuisine. At Christ, they've taken the concept to the next level and combined the tradition with a modern winery. This area over here was built in 2004 and it was made for a wine bar, for wine tastings, and for customers to purchase the wine for themselves. As you can see, Vienna has a lot more to offer than the typical tourist attractions, and most of the places we visited are easily reachable on foot or by public transportation. To find out more about these destinations in Vienna, please visit www.austria.info.